Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So last night we received uh, FSD beta 9.1 that's the version 2021.4.18.13 and this is the release note that we get. So we still have the same thing about the full self-driving um, beta mention. Uh, you can see now that the visualization is part of the release notes which um, um, was already the case in the version before. Um, same thing pretty much it tells you that you have to be in control that it can be um, it can take some um, left and right turn and it can navigate off of highway so very standard I don't see anything special here let's go to driver visualization improvements so that's talking about the UI the expanded full self-driving visualization that's uh, something we already had in the past and um, yeah, same thing. I don't, I don't see anything different. Um, and cabin camera. So just so you guys know, mine is covered. Uh, we'll see if that um, requires me to uncover it uh, for FSD to work. We'll see. It's covered right now. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. I think that's that's pretty much it. So these are the three. Um, the email that we received from Tesla was saying that we were getting. Uh, a minor uh, update so the dot one um, the email doesn't contain anything more than um, or anything new it's uh, just the standard verbiage so let's quick take a quick look at the settings I don't think there's anything that was added but you never know so um, and as I'm doing this um, you guys might uh, notice that I do not have my special screen capture uh, module this time it is um, it is not available. I'm just I'm um, doing some some improvements and maintenance um, around it. So in the future videos, maybe a couple of videos, it will be the, this uh, layout with the traditional GoPro pointing at the the screen. But it will be back soon as soon as um, uh, as soon as it's um, it's available. So I'm um, looking through this. I don't see anything any new settings. It looks very similar to me. Um, expanded full self driving. That's the. the um, that's what they were mentioning. Um, nothing. Navigation, same. Safety and security. Do, do, do. Same thing. There's no download the FSD button here. Maybe one day. Maybe in two weeks. Um, and here it is. So that's FSD beta 9.1 with the release notes. And yeah, that's it. I don't see anything different uh, on the UI. So. Uh, that's about it. So let's set up a destination uh, around here. This is going to be a quick drive. We'll do a thorough, um, we'll do a thorough uh, testing later on. Uh, let me set something where there's a little bit of turns. So I think four would be good. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. All right. So um, here we go. Cars coming. I'm gonna try and engage right from the parking space. So we have two more cars. There's this land, uh, Range Rover uh, SUV, and then after that we can go. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Okay, so um, as we we're starting the drive, a quick reminder for everyone that FSD doesn't make the car fully autonomous. I'm control the vehicle at all times, so I might be taking over um, if um, I need to. There might be some cases where the car would have done it safely, but I wasn't feeling comfortable, so I will take over. Any takeover from my side will be reported directly into Tesla, and if it does something that um, I didn't, didn't require me to intervene, um, then I would be um, reporting that through this uh, camera button uh, next to my uh, profile. So here we go, first turn and it missed it. <laughs> um, so we're supposed to turn right over here. Um, not sure what happened, but the good news is that it rerouted. It rerouted um, straight away. So, um, okay, that, that gives us a bit more turns, which is good for our uh, journey. All right, so it's creeping forward. Uh, yeah, at a little bit too advanced in the intersection, so I'm gonna report that. Let's see at this stop here. I'm gonna make a right. Oh. 
Okay. Um, I didn't look at this. I was paying attention on the left, but I didn't look at the screen exactly. But I don't know if we hit zero. Uh, I know that was the problem before um, the previous version where we're kind of rolling the stops. Let me see here. Yeah, we're we're not hitting zero. Um, that the, the the lowest was four. That wasn't bad. So this is a left turn. In previous version of um, the FSD, it would go into the opposite lane. In this case, it corrected itself. I wish it didn't have to correct itself in the first place uh, and pick the right lane, the correct lane. But um, hey, at least it's doing something. So um, I'm, I'm, it's quite good. It's an improvement. Okay, that's strange because we were really literally stopped and then the the speed was showing one miles per hour. Um, but that was much better than the uh, the previous one. Okay, I'm making a left turn here. So it's a four-way stop. Yeah, slow down, buddy. Here we go. Passing by Tesla. We're gonna move over one lane, that's nice. We can take the blinker off now, we don't need it. Because it could be confusing. Okay, that was a bit too, I'm gonna report it, but it was a bit too late in turning off that blinker because people would think we would make a right turn here. Those stops were not really a problem. It was rolling, but you know, sometimes sometimes it was doing it perfectly. So, not too too worried about it. Um, well, not I'm worried about it, but it's doesn't show like a major improvement. It's just it, it, it's okay. All right, let's get here. That turn was perfect. That was good. Guys, I have to say like. I don't know, it feels more confident, it feels more, it, it, I don't want to say smoother because it's it's a rough drive anyway in Chicago, but it it feels more um, stable in the, the decision that it's taking or making. Um, I'm going to say that and then all of a sudden it's going to do something stupid, so I'm going to keep it quiet, we're, we're almost at the destination. Very nice, very nice, can't say anything. Um, this looks good, so, all right, let's set up another destination and then um, let's do it here, it should take us back. Um, no, nah, maybe not. Let's do, I want more turns. Um, I wanna challenge the system a little bit more. Mm, okay, let's try again, maybe number one. All right, let's go back to number two and then um, that will just be it for today. It's a, it's a quick drive, first impression. Um, really just wanted to to see how um, it was handling with this new version. We'll do a thorough test later on, uh, obviously. Um, we'll do our uh, specific route uh, we have. We'll go downtown as well, we need to. Uh, we need FSD to work downtown. Like there's no way uh, for me, um, we can call it uh, we can reach autonomy if it's not gonna handle downtown properly. Um, okay, there's a car coming on the left. No, no, no. No. That was too close. All right, first intervention, guys. Uh, I mean, this this one is, is hard. Um, ooh, listen, uh, this one is hard because it's really, we're, we're blinded by the cars on the left that are parked. Um, the, this road here at this time uh, people drive fairly quickly um, but that's that's I, 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 I wanted the car to creep more uh, until it was comfortable to to uh, with that gap unfortunately it was just going for it and we would have um, we would have we would have forced the other car to slow down so hey ho 
Uh, that's one intervention. Was I measuring the miles? Uh, mileage? Yeah, 1.4. So we'll have to remember that. Um, Okay, it's moving over. Okay, that was perfect. That's exactly what, that's the type of stops I like. Like, you know, you literally just stop completely before you proceed, um, even if there's no cars. Like, let's see if it does it again. Yep, that's good. That's perfect. It, uh, you guys can't feel it, but literally what happens is like it slows down, and you can feel that as soon as we're completely stopped, and the car starts again, which which is a good feeling because that shows okay, I'm you know I know that I can go, but I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this stop. I'm gonna make it sure that we're uh, fully marking this stop there. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, it's slowing down a little bit here. Um, not sure why it slowed down, so I'm gonna report it. Okay, railroad crossing. nice um, again guys like there's there's literally virtually no traffic like right now uh, why would you, oh no that stop sign on the left Arr, I hate that Chicago has those like weird stop signs on both sides uh, just to let you know that the other um, oncoming traffic has actually uh, a stop sign um, and Tesla is seeing it as being a stop sign for us, which is frustrating um, because basically we're stopping in the middle of the um, uh, that's a toe zone. I'm gonna continue. Um, yeah, in the middle of the intersection. So, all right. So I'm gonna stop the the video here. Uh, let's share a little bit of my impressions. Um, we have to take into account the fact that there's no cars like it this is an empty street right now uh, virtually we only had like a couple of cars here and there um it, it, it the overall drive was good and i felt like the car was more confident to to do those maneuvers so in a perfect world there's no other cars and you know this would be like that's it like i, I you know i can call it full autonomy um in that uh, that situation but the big problem we have is that obviously there's other cars, there's things that we don't expect. So um, that's why we're I'm doing more of those testings and that's why for me downtown is critical because that's where you have the most traffic, most um, things to, to think about and you you can't make any mistake. You can't take the wrong lane and then switch back. It's, it's going to cause uh, chaos in traffic. Um, but overall, I feel like it was more confident. The turns were good. Um, stop signs are better. Um, I think we rolled a few. Um, I would have to look at the footage, but overall, it's it's it 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 feels better. It it's a, it is an improvement. Now, um, it did two things that were very um, strange, goofy, um, you know, idiotic. Um, the first one, it missed completely the turn. I, I, I don't know what happened there because we used to take that turn there and it was fine. I don't know if it was the sun, the cameras, whatever, but the good thing is that it rerouted uh, very quickly and FSD didn't get confused. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Uh, the second one was um, um, something that definitely Tesla needs to work on. Like that turn to the left, um, I really needed... Um, um, uh, the car to creep forward to the point where it's not on 
into the first lane, but it's enough to be able to see and to proceed safely. I know it's hard, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's um, it can't just go when it thinks there's a gap um, and then, you know, basically just force the others to slow down. Um, so yeah, here it is. So that's what 2.1 miles um, and we had two intervention, no, um, was one intervention only. Um, the first one, I just let it run. Um, so one intervention, 2.1 miles, the conditions are like, uh, ideal for for this testing so um overall it was great i mean i i i like it we'll see we'll see how um the other tests i'm doing um and how it's it's handling so um yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to subscribe to the channel as i mentioned um we're back to uh, the gopro um aiming at this the car screen but as soon as the the the, the video capture is uh, available again I'll be able to um, to plug that in and we'll do more of the testing for version 9.1. Thanks again, have a great day. Um, and if you like this video, make sure to, to, to click like and please subscribe. Um, the more we have subscribers, the better it is for the channel and we can grow and do more of these testings or different videos. Um, so thank you very much, have a great day.